Good morning, brothers and sisters. It is November the 5th, 2015, and I have missed you. I haven't been on YouTube in a while, and I have missed you. You look so beautiful. Hold, hold on. You look so beautiful today, on this day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice today and be exceedingly glad. We're going to talk about another gospel that's being preached on YouTube today and uh, by many pastors and I can't understand because we are not to preach another gospel I'm talking about the gospel of fear we're gonna talk about that in one moment gather around pull up a chair I can't hold on oh you just look so beautiful today I love to see you happy I love to see you smile and when I look at you, I can just see the Holy Spirit is just abounding within you. You look so beautiful today. I'm going to have my coffee. Let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave. You haven't been letting me know. And I like to know. I'm nosy. I like to know what are you having for breakfast? What are you sharing with Pastor Dave? Orange juice, coffee, tea. Are you having, having eggs and toast? Let me know. I like to know these things. I've missed you. I missed you. I'm going to jump through the monitor. Hold on and just give you a great big PD hug. I've got my Tim Hortons coffee. Ran out of coffee again this morning and uh, headed out to Tim Hortons. So l let me have my coffee right now while you're typing, while your fingers are doing the talking. In the comment box below, what, ham, eggs, peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I'm a, I love to double dip. I get in trouble for that. I get a spoon of peanut butter and I dip it in the coffee and, but then right back into the jar so now i have my own separate jar of peanut butter and it's labeled pastor dave all right hold on i want to share something wonderful with you hold on i want to thank once again before we talk about this other gospel precious sister ellen who has just sent a wonderful wonderful offering to our ministry i received it in the mail and um, I'm going to show you just the back side. Look at the little puppies. Do you see the puppies? Where are they at? They're right here. Do you see the puppies? Look at, isn't that wonderful? It just makes you smile. I love to get stuff in the mail. I guess I'm like a big kid. And in the description box below, if you want to send Pastor Dave a card, a hello, uh, the address, my address is in the uh, show more section, description box below. But I want to share this card from Ellen. Oh, my, my, my. This, I think, is what Pastor Dave looks like in the morning when he hasn't had his coffee. What do you think? Does that, that looks like me when I wake up and I haven't had my coffee yet. Or maybe it looks like Pastor Dave by the end of the day when I've had a little too much coffee. All right, I want to share one more update with you. I want to thank a precious sister from Texas who supports this ministry with everything that she has haven't been on youtube been very busy i've been out there out there on the streets every single day i was out late last night twice she has sent an offering of two dollars and i want to acknowledge her she doesn't want uh, uh her name mentioned she wants to remain anonymous but she gives everything she can so four dollars to our ministry to the homeless just in the last couple of days met a wonderful wonderful gentleman late yesterday afternoon he's homeless and he's been homeless for some time and if we can let's just keep him in our thoughts and in our prayers i will be going back there and as soon as i'm done with this video uh to flint michigan just outside of burton and he's got a white beard and his hair is long and it's uh, he needs a lot of love and a lot of care and he's been trying to find a, a pop-up tent but I want to find him I don't want to find him a tent I want to find him some shelter and uh, that's what we are working on today with him and so keep this ministry lifted up in prayer another gospel I can't understand for the life of me why we're living in the end days these are the end days why does the church follow after those promoting what the Bible speaks against? And what could the agenda be from a pastor 
or a Christian on YouTube to want to instill fear and gloom and doom into the body of Christ because it's popular. Well, some major catastrophic event is about to take place or they want you to believe it is. That draws in a lot of attention and a lot of viewers. But what is it doing for the unsaved? What is it doing for the non-Christian that tunes in? And right away, they're not mesmerized. They're turned off. They shake their head and they turn away from our Christian channels. Why would a pastor, why would a born-again believer preach a gospel of fear? Let me take you to scripture. I missed you guys. What does the Bible say? What does the word of God say? Second Timothy, verse 1 through 7 says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah tells us in Isaiah 41, verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am with thee, for I am thy God, the great I am. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Does that sound like we need to fear? Psalm 23 Verse 1 through 6, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. First John, the fourth chapter, the 18th verse. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. There is no fear. Do you hear me? Amen. Do you hear me today? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? There is no fear in love. Why are these preachers Pumping the fear into the church of Jesus Christ today. Is it to prepare the church of Jesus Christ for the coming of the Antichrist and a one world religion and the false prophet, Pope Francis, so that you will be so programmed in fear that you will be paralyzed with fear and you will follow along, you will go along with the masses, and that's what's happening. Wake up! That's what's happening today. The masses are being programmed to obey, to be in fear. We're not to have fear. We are not to have fear. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear hath torment. That's what I've been telling you. Fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Psalm 34, the fourth verse, I sought the Lord and he heard me. How many want to hear from the Lord today? Seek him. Seek the Lord. I saw the Lord. I sought him and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Then deliver yourself from these channels that are promoting this fear. I love you. Oh, I missed you so much. Don't, don't follow this no more. They're flamboyant. They're very popular because they know how to work a room. They know how to gather in the multitudes. They know how to tickle some tickling ears. I'm not going to tickle you today. But I'm going to love you today. And with love, there is no fear. I love you all. If you feel the Holy Spirit move upon you to support our ministry to the homeless. We're very busy right now with our backpack ministry, our homeless outreach. I'll put the link below. I love you. Don't fear. Rejoice. I want to see the Holy Spirit. I just want to see the Holy Spirit abound within you. You are beautiful. God bless.